first of all thanks for being part of this video in this video we are going to see 10 mixed arithmetic questions of pure prelims level let's see the questions that is asked first question the salary of p is 10 percent is less than the salary of q and his expenditure is 30 percent of the savings of q if q spends 20 percent of his salary then find the percentage of the savings of p with respect to his own salary so here the questions is given about p and q salary and expenditure and also talking about the savings let's see the first statement is the salary of p is 10 percent is less than the salary of q so let's take 100 is the salary of q 10 percent is less is for p means 90 so salary of p is 90 and salary of q is 100 now it is said that and his expenditure and represents to p p expenditure this one is 30 percent of the savings of q 30 percent of this one okay if q spends 20 percent of his salary means 20 percent is he spends means 20 percent of 100 will be 20 he spends 20 means his savings will be 80 so we got this one so we can able to find this one this one is nothing but 30 percent of 80 which is 24 so we can able to find the savings which is 66 now the question asked is find the percentage of the savings of p with respect to his own salary the question of this one represents what it means is the savings is what percentage of the salary that is the question so savings is what percentage of his salary means this one so what will act is this will be 0 0 cancel and 3 3 times 3 22 times so we left with 220 divided by 3 3 7 times 21 and 3 times 9 and 3 times and 3 times so what we get is 73.33 percentage option b is our answer okay next question let's see the second question the cost price of the TV sold by Ajit and Aro is same and the total profit on them is 40 percentage 40 percentage of the profit of Aro now the question number two the cost price of the TV sold by Ajit and Aro is same and the total profit on them is 40 percentage of the profit of Aro okay if the profit earned by RO is 30 percentage then find the profit or loss incurred, incurred by Ajit now the question starts with this one cost price of the TV sold by Ajit and RO is same means let's take the cost price of the TV is 100 okay here we have a statement that the profit earned by RO is 30 percentage so RO got 30 rupees profit this is cost price and he got 30 percent means 30 rupees is his profit okay here we have another statement that the total profit on them is 40 percentage of the profit of RO here we have profit of RO total profit is 40 percentage of the profit of RO 40 percentage of the RO double zeros double zeros cancel we got a 12 percentage total profit is a 12 okay sorry this one 40 percentage of RO which get 40 divided by 100 into 30 equals to we got a 12 as our answer okay so this is total profit so this is a cost price this is a profit total profit means they both sell at 112 okay but RO got 30 rupees profit so what we do here is total profit means RO's profit plus Ajit's profit is equals to 12 we have RO profit which is 30 plus x equals to 12 so 
द प्राफिट आर् लास् आफ अजय हियर इट ईज क्लियर दट हि गाट प्राफिट एंड टोटल ईज लेस् दैन द प्राफिट सो अजित मेड लास् द लास् ईज नथिंग बट एक्स ईक्वल टू एन रुपी ईज द लास् सो आंसर ईज एन पर्संटेज हियर वी आर् टेकिंग इन हंड्रेड सो इट ईज एन पर्संटेज लास् आपशन एज अवर् आंसर नेक्स्ट थर्ड क्वेश्चन third question we will see here a train crosses a platform of length 240 meters in 15 seconds length of the train plus platform length 240 divided by 15 seconds which is speed of the train when traveling at a speed of 40 meters per second so it is given that 40 meters per second From this, we can able to find the value of L. Fifteen four times is a six hundred, six hundred minus two forty, which will be three sixty. So we got the length of the train, which is a three sixty meters. Next, find the time taken by the train to cross a pole with the same speed. Asking about find the time. Time equals to distance by speed. Distance is distance means the length of the train, which is three sixty. Divided by speed of the train, which is given as a 40 meters per second, so what we get is a nine seconds. So answer for this one is a nine seconds. So option A is our answer. Next fourth question: P and Q can complete a certain work in 15 days and 45 days. P, Q, 15 days and 45 days. So the LCM of this is 50, 45, and this is one times, and this is three times. So the efficiencies are three to one. If they work together and earn a profit of rupees six hundred, then find the share of Q. So the profit is shared according to their efficiencies. So Q share is one part of a total four parts. The profit is six hundred into six hundred. We get a one. One five zero is our answer. Okay. So answer is one fifty. So option B is our answer. Next fifth question: A mixture of sixty liters contains milk and water in the ratio of two is to one. So total is sixty liters. Milk and water in the ratio of two is to one means the milk is forty and the water is twenty. Okay. Next find the amount of milk to be added to the mixture. So some milk is added. If the ratio in the resultant mixture of the milk and water becomes four is to one, now the ratio becomes four is to one. One part value is nothing but twenty means into twenty times. So four into twenty times, which will be eighty. The total value of this one must be eighty. So forty plus x equals to eighty means x value is forty. The question asked is find the amount of milk to be added. So forty liters to be added. So option D is our answer. Option D. Next fifth question. Sixth question. Let's make some space. So let's see sixth question. The speed of the boat in still water is twenty five kilometers per hour. So m value is given as twenty five kilometers per hour. Find the distance covered by the boat in five hours downstream speed. So talking about distance, distance is equal to speed into time. This is the downstream speed. Downstream speed means m plus s into time is given as five hours and six hours upstream plus another distance t equal to s into t upstream with the time six hours. Time six hours upstream means m minus s. Both are the same. If the speed of the stream is five kilometers per hour, s is also given as five kilometers per hour. So we can able to find the value of the d. This will be m plus s, which will be thirty. Thirty five times will be one fifty plus m minus s, which will be twenty. Twenty into six times one twenty equals to d. So total d value will be two seventy. So this is our answer. Option e. None of these is the answer. Option D, we get. Option E, we get two seventy. 
here there is no option of 270 so answer is option E now we are going to see question number 7 now the question number 7 the distance covered by the boat is 48 kilometers in 16 hours upstream so upstream m minus s speed is 48 divided by 16 which is 3 hours okay and 60 kilometers in 12 hours downstream so m plus s 60 kilometers in 12 hours means 12 5 times so 5 kilometers per hour this is kilometers per hour these are not in hours kilometers per hours because these are speeds okay then now the question asked is find the distance covered by the boat 13 hours in still water so we need to find the value of still water which is m speed so here m is positive so sum of these two divided by 2 m value is 8 by 2 which is 4 4 kilometers per hour is still water speed and it is asked about distance covered by boat in 13 hours distance is equal to speed into time time is given as 13 hours speed is still water speed which is a 4 for 13 times which will be 52 kilometers so this is the answer option a is our answer option a next eighth question the ratio of the present ages of n and o is 7 is to 6 n and o ratio is 7 is to 6 if the ratio of the age of n 5 years before n minus 5 and age of o after 7 years o plus 7 is 2 is to 3 then find the 9 times of the sum of the present ages talking about uh, let's take them as x 7x and 6x the question asked is 9 into sum of these two means 13x we need to find the value of x so we have equation here 3 n times minus 3 15 times 3 5 times is 15 and 2 o 2 o plus 7 2 times 14 here we have n and o has a 7 is to 6 ratio so instead of 7 n we take 7 x so 7 3 times 21 x minus 15 equals to 2 6 times 12 x plus 14 so what we have is 9 x equals to 29 so x value is 29 divided by 9 we got this one the question asked is 9 into 13 x the question asked is 9 into 13 x so instead of x we can write 29 by 9 9 into 13 into 29 by 9 9 and 9 cancels 13 9 times will be 117 13 2 times 26 which will be 37 377 is our answer so answer is 377 option C next question let's uh, rotate this book ninth one question 9 a man covers a distance of 32 kilometers at a speed of 16 kilometers per hour okay 32 kilometers speed 16 kilometers per hour next distance of 48 kilometers at a speed of 12 kilometers per hour and a distance of 65 kilometers at a speed of 13 kilometers per hour now the question asked is find the average speed of the man so average speed is equals to total distance total distance means what we get is 10 and 5 15 this will be 10 14 145 145 is the total distance by total time we have distance and speed so time will be distance by speed so 32 divided by 16 which will be 2 plus 48 divided by 12 which will be 4 plus 65 divided by 13 5 9 plus 2 11 so we get 145 divided by 11 11 1 times is 11 35 we get 35 means 3 times 33 2 by 11 
so what we get is 13 to 11 is our answer option a is our answer next 10th question p started your business with an investment of 40000 p started an investment of 40000 and after 6 months q joined the joined him as a partner so after 6 months only joined q left the business 2 months before the completion of 2 years of the 2 years from the start okay totally it takes 2 hours 2 years 2 years means 24 months the q came after 6 months and left to uh, before 2 months of the completion so totally 8 months he don't work 8 months not worked means he worked only for 16 months okay and we don't know how much he invested if the profit at the end of the year is in the ratio of 6 is to 5 the ratios we get at the end will be the profit ratio which is given here is 6 is to 5 then find the amount invested by q we need to find the value of x so this will be 6 4 times 4 4 times 4 ten thousand times so what we left is x equals to 5 into 10,000 which is 5,000 so x value is 50,000 50,000 is our answer option c is our answer so that's all for today if you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get instant notification about my videos thanks for watching